So it is uh, we can consider by ito na violation sa command na six day uh, we will work. Well, to some extent, yes, but it also shows the drift of our society towards more recreation, more amusement, and less work. So it's a reflection of uh, social erosion. Uh, but for the Christian, nothing's preventing him. Kahit na four days lang yung kanyang work week, then he can use two extra days for other extra work uh, to earn while having time for the family. But the point is we should never voluntarily spend Sunday for work that we do not have to do. Uh, Pastor, good morning po and good brothers. Ike, Ike of GBT. Uh, Pastor, could you please elaborate again on the on the Holy Spirit uh, act as an active agency in the resurrection? I don't know if I captured your explanation a while ago that, yeah, there is the, it is clear that there is the active participation of the Holy Spirit. But what happens again, you mentioned, if I'm not mistaken, that there's still the human spirit of Jesus. Could you please elaborate on that again? Well, when Jesus became incarnate, it was he was both body and human body and human spirit. Just like you and me, uh, we have human body, human spirit, or soul. Uh, if you were here in anthropology, you understand, you understand that we took the position that uh, the constitution of man is just uh, the two elements of body and soul, or soul and soul or spirit being interchangeable. So as to the humanity of Jesus, it means that his whole body, uh, whole human body and human spirit remain intact forever. But as to the resurrection, we are talking of the work of the Holy Spirit giving life to the dead body of Jesus. That's the work of the Holy Spirit because that is the consistent work of the Spirit in the other divine works like creation. It's the Holy Spirit who gave life and order to the materials God created and then to uh, salvation, the work of the Spirit in particular in the salvation of sinners is regeneration, which is giving of life. So we're talking here of the Holy Spirit giving life to Jesus' dead body, but Jesus as human is both body and spirit, and he will remain so forever. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Okay. Other questions? From Join uh, Lipa. Is, is it justifiable to replace Sunday with midweek service for Christians working on Sunday? No. Uh, uh, they, will they, they should attend where they could attend the midweek service if there is one or the prayer meeting on uh, whatever day it is being held but Sunday remains the Lord's Day uh, in countries where the day of rest is different like in Islamic countries uh, what they do is have their service on the rest on the day of rest like uh, in, in Islamic countries, Friday, uh, on the day of rest, they have their service. But on Sunday, they still have some kind of meeting, like prayer meeting. They uh, hold it on a Sunday just to make Sunday more, more special. So it's a case of the, vic the victim situation where you cannot change the system, but uh, you still have to do something in order to make Sunday special than the other days of the week. From Keanu of Bacolod, can you elaborate more on the Sabbath and Lord's Day? I'm asking because I know that there are also those who say the Sabbath and Lord's Day are, are different, even for New Testament Christians. Well, remember the Sabbath began with creation even before there was Israel and the church. So the Sabbath was made for all humanity. So there will always be the Sabbath. The question now is, 
What is our Sabbath? Uh, there is no question that the Sabbath of the Jews is Saturday. Now, the creation Sabbath is not Saturday. It simply says the seventh day. There was no calendar day. If you want to prove that the seventh day of the creation week was Saturday, you need to prove first that he began creating on a Sunday. There was no calendar then. So it was not under a calendar uh, order of days. Uh, what we can say of the creation Sabbath is that man was created in a seven-day week cycle of living, but in, the, in those seven days, six days are for work, one day is for rest. Now, the question is, for the people of God, what is their Sabbath? Again, for Israel, we concede there is no disputing it was Saturday, the seventh day of the calendar week. But also, I believe there is no disputing that in the pattern of the church of the New Testament, the first day of the week becomes their Sabbath. And that I think it is legitimate to call still a Sabbath. I know some Reformed Christians uh, hesitate to call it Sabbath. I do not hesitate. So the Puritans called it Sabbath. And we have a text, as I, as I said in Hebrews 4.9, Speaking of a Sabbath rest that is still present for the people of God, what else is that Sabbath rest for us of the days of the week, but the first day of the week? So I believe that it is right for us to call the Lord's Day a Sabbath. But if you are uh, hesitant, uh, no problem at all if you just call it the Lord's Day. As long as you spend the Lord's Day, which is Sunday, uh, in something special for the worship of God. Other questions? Uh, more. So, sir, just a clarification po, uh, regarding the uh, uh, point nyo na the Son of God has an active role in his own resurrection from the dead. It is clear po uh, in the passage of uh, uh, sec the second chapter of John and the tenth chapter of John na si Jesus Christ ay mayroong active role sa kanyang resurrection. But uh, uh, I'm not sure if I hear it correctly na sinabi nyo yung uh, Holy Spirit yung mayroong uh, part doon sa death ni Jesus Christ. Just a clarification lang po. Well, all three persons have a part. And if we put this in the, uh, in the act of redemption of the triune God, it's the Father who purposed, it's the Son who accomplished, and it's the Spirit who gave application. So in the case of the resurrection, I think we can say uh, that it was the Father's purpose, it was the Son who experience it, who fulfilled it, which means both death and resurrection, the son was active in the fulfillment. And therefore, in that sense, he gave himself life. But uh, for that to happen, the life itself, that is the resurrection life, is supplied by the Holy Spirit. Uh, and in that way, we can say all three persons were actively involved in such a key redemptive event as the resurrection. Yes, in the same way that, again, all three persons were active in the crucifixion, uh, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and also in the resurrection. Other questions? Let's take a break.